Ana Collective, this is a special reading particular to a card that keeps coming up for almost every sign here, the Knight of Swords. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your inspiration, your guidance, your wisdom, your protection, your kindness, and above all, your presence with us. So I wanted to do this reading because this keeps coming up for like every single sign, and I wanted you to see the different interpretations of this card. Okay, we've got the Prince of Winter here. Intellectual, determined, focused, impulsive, okay? Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden or unexpected changes. Okay, so I, when I do my readings, I've talked about this Knight of Swords kind of being like Lancelot in the Arthurian Tales, right? He rushes in. He's an awesome warrior, Okay, he believes strong in his mission. He fights for justice. All right, this can be a bearer of sudden or unexpected changes. Doesn't always have to be a bad thing. However, okay, the King of Swords is also extremely impulsive. Okay, it can bring in unpredictability or opposition, you know, conflict. So it calls us to be calm, to come into a higher perspective right? To make sure, you know, like high priestess energy where you're balancing things out or a hierophant, you know, a calm, steady energy to deal with these situations. This one is the champion of swords. Notice the butterflies, um, you know, like the eagle is bringing in the sword, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a, a bad thing, okay? You just know that, you know, this, this heralds you know, some kind of quick action here, okay? Um, and the need to stay calm, because if this person is coming in your life, all right, they might come in and it might seem like everything, oh my goodness, it's great. They try to take over, they try to take control, and, you know, they've, they have the answer, they have the, you know, uh, they know, they have the answer, they, they assess the situation quickly and they try to get right to work like they're on a mission, okay? Sometimes it's easier to stand back and let these people just take charge and go, depending on what the situation is, and then kind of like step in when they calm it all down, right? When they're done, okay? But it's really the need, what you need to know is it's there's an impulsivity that comes with it, all right? So I'm gonna do a quick reading on this here because again, it's coming up for every, almost every sign. And some of them have been followed by like tower moments. So I'm gonna ask, yeah, this is another card that keeps coming in here. Okay, we've got a 10 of pentacles coming up here too. The conflict card, right? Where people, there's a lot of drama around you or beside you, okay? Um, for most of the collective, I feel like we've been build, building, we're pretty aware of this right now. If you're, you know, especially if you've been doing, you know, the spiritual growth work that we've all been ca being called to do, like you're building over here on these solid foundations. Okay. Your spiritual growth and, you know, possibly the financial growth is coming in with this tree of life, harvest 10 of pentacles. Okay. But this is kind of what's going on around you. All right. It's calling you out a little bit. You're going to probably have to make a decision just concerning this situation. What can you give us on the Knight of Swords, please? Yeah, you're being called to stay focused in your work. And these are the same cards, just so you know, especially the Five of Swords to the Four of Wands have been coming up almost in every reading for this, right around this card here. What can you give us some insight on this Knight of Swords, please, Spirit? What can you give us about this Knight of Swords energy that is coming in for the collective and coming in fast? <laughs> Hierophant, got to be calm here, people, right? Deal with it on a higher level because opportunity, it might bring in opportunity for growth, okay? But you have to come at it from a higher perspective in order not to get caught up, right? Oh, card on the floor here. Hold on one second. Oh, I thought it went. <laughs> Maybe I caught it. Oh, here it is. 
Yeah, two of pentacles. For, and this is another thing, is that people are kind of going back and forth here, okay? Whether it's, it's, it's really about a mindset here, okay? Again, these same cards have been coming up surrounding this Knight of Swords for almost every sign. So I feel like some of you have been kind of going back and forth, like, do I want to be a part of this or not? Or your, you know, um, past and future kind of situation here. Okay. Yep. That's validated here. All right. Like your, your, your mind is kind of going to the stuff that's spilled rather than what's being offered to you. Okay. Let's get some more clarification here. Spirit, can you give us some clarification on this uh, Knight of Swords situation here? What the collective needs to know, please, with this Knight of Swords coming out all over the place. Got the eight of pentacles here you've got some stable work going on and the cards keep pointing us to focus on the work to deal with this situation okay right if we just keep focused on what we're doing this kind of stuff will you know it'll fall to the wayside the drama will fall to the wayside so you're being called to be calm Stay in your higher spirit. Focus on your soul purpose, your soul work. Yeah, here's the validation here. Five of swords. Okay. Two of pentacles back and forth here. Right? It's coming in quickly. Okay. Right? Yeah, we've got the sun card. Stay in the sun. What else do we have here? Focus on good things, okay? This could be surrounding a project, a partnership. A couple of the signs had this come up um, as a lover card, like with the lover's card. So this could be an old partnership that you've been dealing with. We've got the devil card here, okay? Validation again to keep focusing on the work. This could bring opportunity to you so if you're in that higher state of energy you might be able to realize that opportunity without getting caught up in it because i had two knight of pentacles here i had this come up in the other deck as well i just didn't put it out okay so um you could turn this into an opportunity can we get some clarity on that devil card please what's that about and that has been coming up either the tower card or the devil card has been coming up around this knight of swords. We've got the four of swords here. Okay. We've got the patience card. Okay. So, um, you're being called to be calm and patient because there could be opportunities coming in for you because of this card. Okay, because of either this person or this situation where you're being called to act quickly. Yeah, I've got the Knight of Cups as well. Okay, so these are all messages coming in here. Spiritual messages, messages of love. This could relate to, um, as far as the Devil card, this could be somebody that you've either worked with or, you know, had a, a love situation with. Okay. Can you give us some clarification on the devil card, please, Spirit? Thank you, angels. Thank you, gods. Yeah, I've got the queen of wands. Okay. So you're really just being called to come at this from, you know, a higher energy here. These could be people around you. This could be people around that knight of swords, um, you know, that are trying to kind of hone in on what you're doing too. Um, okay. And again, you're being called to focus here. This whole situation somehow is, you know, there's a possibility here of it bringing in some solid opportunity for you. Whether it's the opportunity uh, to level up in your spiritual work, right? 
Um, perhaps, you know, this Knight of Swords happens to mention an opportunity for financial growth that you just happen to pick up on because I've got a Ten of Pentacles and that's been coming up also. It's like as we move through this, okay, as we move through this, this devil, this Knight of Swords energy, we're going to like level up and somehow it's going to be prosperous for us. Sorry for bumping the camera there. Either, you know, financial health or spiritual health. This four of swords is again, like the four of wands. You've got the four corners here, but you're still at odds with this situation. And you're being called to put those boundaries up from those four corners, right? Like, you know, the four energies here, earth, air, water, fire, right? Okay. Two of swords here, okay? Take the blindfold off, see past the illusions. Again, the four of cups, like instead of letting it make you sad, focus on the cups that are coming in. You're gonna have other offers around you. I think what they're trying to say here is if you, you know, spirit is saying, if you don't pay attention, you're going to miss this opportunity, okay? And don't let, don't let the devil distract you, right? Don't let that energy distract you. Okay? Yeah, page of cups energy here. You could be dealing with an air sign. You could also be dealing, um, you know, with uh, a water sign as well. Okay? And your air signs would be, you know, like Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The water signs are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You could be, you know, you could be the water sign dealing with an air sign, you know, um, but you're basically being called to stay in that high energy here. Okay. That hierophant energy. All right. There may be an elder that is stepping in to help you as well. Okay. That's very possible here. I get any more insight for the collective. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah. Two of Swords. You're being called to see past the illusions here. Okay? See past the illusion. Get your mind right. Okay? And I have a feeling that right after this happens, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have good news coming in here. All right? So it's, it's kind of like, you know, um, are you going to... Uh, are you going to take the bait? I said, this is like the bait card. Am I going to stay in this energy where I'm thinking about this and I'm letting this distract me? Or, you know, are we going to move forward and just deal with this in a really calm, mature manner? Okay. It might be a card of, of letting go here. You might need to make a final let go on this situation. Spirit, what else do you have concerning the Knight of Swords energy that seems to be coming in for a lot of the signs here? Yeah, we've got the Owl here. Number 13, Deception and Wisdom. So you're being called out here to see past the illusion and pull in the wisdom that you already have here. You already hold that energy is what I'm being told. Okay, number 10, Magic Coincidence, Synchronistic Events. Okay, so maybe around that situation, while that situation is happening, okay, there's going to be some kind of good thing coming, excuse me, good thing coming in that you need to be open for and available to see it. Yeah, transformation number 12, which can also be the three, the swan, trusting in the psychic gifts. Okay. You're being called to um, use your intuition, use your wisdom, and stay open to the good stuff in the midst of this crazy stuff here. I mean, that's a great lesson there to be able to deal with, right, this stuff and still remain open in the midst of this to good stuff coming in for you. Okay? Again, you might be getting some assistance here. You could also be getting assistance, you know, from the other side, from ancestors here too, your spirit team. 
because that's been coming up in all of the readings also. Okay, an affirmation meditation card. Just as rust eats away the iron from which it was produced, so do their own deeds lead the overindulgent into a miser miserable state. So you're not going to have to worry about this, okay? Like, let the impulsivity pass through. This person comes in, tries to take, I mean, just kind of let them do their thing, step back a little bit, okay? Be reflective. Whatever you're saying or doing, because we're also coming up in this Mercury retrograde on the 9th, which is all in Virgo, which is about communication and, you know, skill in communication, right? Maturity in communication, okay? So, you know, this is kind of going to take care of itself. All right. You just have to, you, the only thing you can control is how you're acting, reacting or not acting, which is sometimes the best way to deal with a situation like that. Okay. Is to just kind of come from a higher perspective and you got to let, you got to let people do what they're going to do. They respect their own journeys. I mean, obviously you need to keep yourself safe, right? Okay, because you don't want to end up back in here. Oh my gosh, we've got the King of Swords here. Yeah, you're being called to, you know, master up with the boundaries here. Be really logical. Defend what's yours. You've worked hard for all of this benefit that's coming into you. You have worked really hard. So it's time to see past these illusions. You know, not get into this kind of a repeating pattern here. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. I hope it has brought some people some clarity on how this kind of works, right? And uh, what the card actually means for you. Take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other and be kind out there.